Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to tether your iPhone first generation, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS to either your PC or Mac via Bluetooth or USB cable. So here I have my iPhone 3G. You can tell it's an iPhone 3G because of 32 gigabytes. And here's a compass, which the regular iPhones do not have. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is grab your phone and go to the website the website you want to go to is help.benm.at you can see I have it right here I also have it in the link to the description over here in the right so go ahead and go to that website on the home page you'll get a welcome bar and all this stuff just scroll down until you see tethering and internet settings click on mobile configs the download section and scroll down looking for your country if you're in the USA click the USA now select either AT&T or T-Mobile depending what you're running on I'm running on AT&T and then it'll say install click install I've already installed this so I'm not going to but you go ahead and do it once installed you need to turn the phone all the way off and then all the way back on once again I've already done this so I'm not going to do it now once you've done that click on settings go to general go to network and you'll see a new internet tethering tab now for about five percent of people the internet tethering tab when you click on it it says please contact AT&T or your service provider to activate this feature um, don't worry about that just click on it like ten times or exit out and click on it again and then you will go into it so here I'm gonna click on it It says internet tethering currently off I'm gonna turn it on here it says Bluetooth is off so you can only connect by USB that is fine I'm going to connect by USB now before I plug my phone in let me just show you that on my MacBook you can see up over here airport is currently turned off airport is is, is the thing that connects you to Wi-Fi if I do try and go to the internet it says you are not connected to the internet okay so here's what you need to do once internet tethering is turned on real simple take your USB plug it right on into your phone on mine you can immediately see it says internet tethering and if you are on a Mac your iPhotos will pop up I am not going to worry about those right now um, when you first do this you may get a APN settings box that pops up on your computer that's completely fine just click OK to all settings don't change anything just click OK it'll work fine and then you are connected and tethering to whatever website you want to on 3G speeds via USB. So it's kind of slow once again going through the iPhone. Not always the best thing. Okay, but there you have it. You can go to whatever website you want to. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to tether via Bluetooth. So let's unlock this and I'll unplug it. You can now see that internet tethering goes away. We'll turn it off and let's turn it back on. I'll now say um, how I want you to tether and I'm going to choose turn on Bluetooth. So it turns on my Bluetooth settings. I'm actually going to exit out of this so I can go to Bluetooth. And here we go. Um, it's already found my computer, which is fine. My computer, however, does not recognize the device because I have not paired it with the phone. So we go to Browse Devices. Excuse me, we go to set up 
new Bluetooth device and we follow these instructions we click on mobile phone continue and it searches it finds my iPhone we click continue um, gather some information about it and then we click continue again gathers more information about it and shows a number here it says do I want to pair yes I would like to pair once I've clicked that I click continue on the computer and it says use device as a network port okay continue now it shows what all has happened that's great now we click quit now you can see on my devices um, it set up my new setup to my computer so I click on Bluetooth here Keegan's iPhone and I click connect to phone under Bluetooth settings and after a little bit here you go internet tethering once again and look no USB cable completely tethering and you can even go here let's go back to Safari this is all done via Bluetooth go to any website you want And that is all there is to it. So I hope you like this video. Please look at my channel for more great videos on phone hacks, tips, tricks, and all of that good stuff. Um, also visit our website. And thank you.